Hello and welcome back to Python now with another video series about creating PDFs with FPDF, a library in Python which is able to yeah, save strings, data and stuff like that in your own PDF. It lets create your it lets you create your own documents, your own writing, stuff like that, save them as a PDF, can make can set lines, can even draw something. And yeah, in this video series, this is the first video and even if it's the first video we try to yeah implement all the basics in this video. So at the end we have our PDF file and in this PDF file something should be written and by yeah watching this video you should be able to create at least simple PDF documents and yeah for yourself. So let's dive in. First we need to import fpdf. We have to use pip install if it is not installed or if you as are as lazy as me. You can just move your cursor over fpdf, click on install fpdf and yeah, your IDE should be able to install it. Yes, perfect. Now after installing it, you can just create your own object of fpdf, which is which you do, oh, we name it just pdf, and yeah, the class is fpdf, but every letter is uppercase, it takes no arguments, and I personally often, f often forget this step, it is um, pdf point add page really important otherwise it doesn't have a page. So we want to write stuff in our PDF so we have to set the font. S uh, letters should be written in ARIA or ARIEL I guess in English you say ARIEL. So we are just saying PDF set font ARIEL B is the style big underline and stuff like that. And what was the last one? Ah, the size, which is 13. Now we, this is just the font. We want to write something. We do that with PDF cell. We are typing in our coordinates, coordinates, which are 0 and 10. Now the text equals, hello, I am um, the head. And yeah, okay, we shouldn't use an argument for that because yeah, border should be zero and yeah, line so that nof nothing is written in the same line because you can kind of look at PDF cell as a pointer and which every step we show him to point at the next, yeah, the next cell or the next uh, row in your document. And we need to use something like line that he jumps t uh, to the next line. Without it he would just override anything in any line and you had like, yeah, it will be just a mess of letters. We don't want that. And yeah, a line should be in the center. Now let's our own output path, output Path equals sloth bed the reckoning and no I don't want multiple lines point PDF and yeah we don't want any white spaces so let's add underscores now let's use the output function PDF point output output path and now let's test our code. We got our first PDF file and yes let me show you the file one second. <laughs> this is our PDF file. Hello I am the head it is in the center. Okay now back to our code we want to write something else. If we want to write 
in another font we have to change the font we just want no style at all and yes it should be a, as a should be a little bit the size should be a little bit smaller and yes let's multi cell because if you multi cell and the text is larger you he will just um, use a new line now let's use a larger text hello I'm the text I want to write something but it's harder to type without thinking and I am just hitting random keys on the keyboard to make the text long enough and I am misspelling everything so that you can laugh about something stu stupid the name of my hamster is Harold okay let's try it now let's look at our PDF oh I have to reload it Here we go. He automatic, automatically wrote the lines in a new cell, but if we just use cell, like we used before, just want to show you. Yeah, you see he will just press it in one line and yes, the letters that won't fit will vanish into nothingness. So just don't do that and yes, I am finished for this video. I hope you kind of liked this video. If you have any questions write down in the comments but I guess before uh, anyone wrote the comment I will yeah, upload the next video. See you in the next video. Bye bye. Have a great evening, dinner time, whatever time it is. See you and bye bye.